Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Here I show you the process of making another character design sheet for my original character, the Orphic. Uh, actually, if you want to watch the process behind the previous piece of the same character, you can click up there. Uh, yeah, to the right, yeah, just there. Some months ago, I was thinking like, okay, my current style, which is kind of heavily soft rendered semi-realistic way of illustrate uh, it takes maybe too much time and don't get me wrong like the results have been really satisfactory for me but i needed like an express not so complicated style in case i wouldn't have much time to work right so i thought what about a flat style or something like that and then it came to my mind this Valorant video game uh, which art makes me feel kind of really inspired and I love how punchy and bold it is. So I decided to give it a try and using something similar in my artwork. Well, surprise, it wasn't as quick as I thought. It took me nearly the same amount of time, if not more, even though I skipped some steps from the more realistic style I have. Then I understood, okay, that this is my first time doing it and of course it'd be normal for me to be slow working that way. So as you saw, uh, I began with the line art or sketch, however you want to call it, and then I would go and fill it with my flat colors using the lasso fill tool, which I absolutely love because you can go and fill white spaces really really fast, plus it has stabilization on board, so sick. After that I would block my flats and would start adding the shadows. Uh, using always like very angular shapes like triangles and with this style I didn't want to do any soft blending between colors uh, instead I opted for a more kind of impressionistic approach uh, for this I'll be using the Marc Brunet cube brush and lasso fill tool mostly so yeah great brush by the way I leave the link to download it in the description of this video Okay, about the character, the Orphix suffers from vitiligo, a disease that causes the human skin to lose its natural color in some areas. However, in his case, it stopped uh, at a young age. When he was a child, he once witnessed an explosion and completely lost his hearing in his left ear. That is why, as an adult, he purchased a cochlear implant that not only allows him to hear at superhuman levels, but also with the Omni-Run technology, he is able to control some electronic devices like speakers or a fridge or something like that just with a thought. He is of course been modding uh, multiple gadgets he owns so that he can control them with his implant. He's around 30 years old. Uh, has Latin roots and he is an orphan. It is believed that was born in Is, an apocalyptic underground city from the Modverse, a universe of characters I created. Not a lot of people know uh, much about his personal life as he is very secretive. Almost no one knows his real name or why his hair is white. He prefers to avoid crowded places and explore the abandoned tunnels of Is. Those are dark, dusted and cold conduits which, according to the other members of the Resistance, could be used to leave their city without being detected at all. Um, this character has a neck tattoo made by Gigi, one of his friends. She is an old lady considered by him as his adoptive mother and also a renowned hand poke tattooer from Is. So yeah, that's everything by now, I hope you like it. If you want to see more, I encourage you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. You also can follow me on Instagram, Artstation, Tumblr and Behance. I'll leave the links down here in this video's description and that's it. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.